even by the diverse standards of culinary success, Chef Norman Van Aken has a unique story. He worked at many jobs from house painter to carnival worker before flipping his first egg as a professional cook in his 20s. Today, he's recognized as one of the co-creators of New World Cuisine, along with the likes of Alice Waters and Paul Prudhomme. As chef and founder of Norman's at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando, he's the only Floridian inducted into the who's who of food and beverage in America by the James Beard Foundation. Chef Norman Van Aken, welcome back to The Dish. Wonderful to be here. Thank you And you, you brought so waffles. I brought chicken and waffles, part of the uh, history of our food. It's fabulous. What else do we have here? Well, really, Anthony, these are a collection of dishes that showcase the things that I've been doing over the last 40 years of cooking in Florida. Um, I've written two cookbooks that are up, two books that are up there. One, a cookbook, My Key West Kitchen, which you were kind enough to have me back here last year for. That's where the chicken and waffles come from, mm. which actually come from a famous bar called the Green Parrot, the oldest bar in Florida, over 100 years old, where they every year have a Fats Navarro um, memory, because Fats is originally from Key West. And oddly enough, the pairing of chicken and waffles has history with Key West. And so mm. it's a great brunch dish. Um, then the other book is called, my, is called No Experience Necessary, and it's actually how I answered an ad for my very first cooking job because preceding to that I had been many other things. Mm -hmm. So this book covers about 20 years of my life coming up through the ranks. Uh, Tony Bourdain uh, has a nice blurb there on the cover. Thank goodness for Tony because he wrote I think the ultimate book besides maybe this one. And um, it tells the underbelly of the story of what it's like to really have been a chef preceding to the Food Network, preceding to the James Beard Awards. You know the kind of more I don't know, not politically correct world that we came from as chefs growing up without any expectation of ever being on a show like this. Well, you guys really were the pioneers. I mean, you, you sort of set this all up. You know, what, what, what we have now? Well, we, you know, we came out of a, a time when the French were really running the kitchens, but it was coincidental to the bicentennial. And I think Americans were beginning to feel like, what is our food? So another thing that we have here. One of the jobs that I had that's described in length and uh, no experience necessary are the carny corn dogs. Because before I became a chef, I was many things, including a carny. Yeah. Yeah, I was working uh, in towns, going mm. uh, town to town in the There's Midwest. something sweet in that breading. It's delicious. The corn is going to be sweet. And the sausage, you can buy the favorite kind that you want. But we, you know, in the carnival, we didn't have cuisine. We didn't have, you know, grand dishes. We didn't have ceviche and... Well, key lime pie, but we had corn dogs, and so I wanted that chapter to have that experience. Mm -hmm. The coleslaw comes from a, a restaurant that I worked in that was a barbecue restaurant in Illinois. Um, the ceviche showcases the kind of thing that you would expect with me coming from Florida and coming from Key West. But I like the food, the food to be full of flavors, very bright, and I like the stories of the books, both the cookbook and the memoir, to be things that people don't expect about a chef. I want to ask you, because I mean, you really came up with Charlie Trotter and right. Emeril Lagasse. Yep. Is that sense of camaraderie still there today? Do the new chefs coming into your world? You know... There I you guys are. Look at that. I think, yeah, that's us. Look at Emeril Lagasse, my goodness. Yeah. And there's Charlie on the left. Uh, we were brothers. We were banded brothers. I don't know that it's still the same, because we were in a much more um, innocent era, an era that where people didn't look at chefs with such a, you know, a laudatory mentality. You know, we, we would send each other faxes right before pre-service, before we opened every night. And Charlie would send me what he was running that night. And Emerald would send me what he was running that wow. night. And then we would go to uh, our cooks and to our waiters and say, look what Charlie's doing, look what Emerald's doing. But with a real sense of, you know, brother, brotherhood, which still carries on today with, uh, with Emerald and... In uh, November, we'll be doing a tribute to Charlie here in New York at the Four Seasons, and so still get to tribute Charlie. You, um, you, you mentioned that you had a whole lot of jobs before you got started. Uh, yeah. You grew up in Illinois, which was pretty cold. How did you end up in Florida? I was so damn tired of winter. Yeah. <laughs> we know the feeling. You know the feeling? <laughs> yeah, this winter especially for you all. And a friend of mine, an older friend, but one year, was not at a party I was at one night, and I said, hey, where's Steve? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning in Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. And my friend, other friend said, he moved to Key West. He's down there doing something. Well, it wasn't legal, but he was doing something down there. <laughs> I said, does anybody want to go to Key West? And these two brothers were there, and they went, yeah, we got a van right outside. Let's go. 
And we got into that van and we drove 36 hours to Key West that night. And so my life in Key West began then. And um, as the book tells you, we went to Colorado, we went to Illinois, we went to New York, we went to Key West, we went back to Key West, back, and then along the way I fell in love with a girl named Janet. That changes everything. And it? then she was 17, I was 21, and we ended up working and staying in Key West. Well, I can't decide what's better, the chicken or the drink. Thank you so much, Chef Norman. Oh, Manning. the drink. Delicious. <laughs> For chicken, more on chicken, that the and the dish, head to our website at CBS This Morning.